Hello everyone, I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, we are going to see basics of mass transistor. So the basic starting material for the integrated circuit is silicon. It is a semiconductor. Poor silicon is a poor conductor. Why it is a poor conductor means for a silicon, we are having four valence electrons. So these four valence electrons will form covalent bond with the nearby silicon atoms. So there is no free electrons for conduction. So in order to overcome this, we will be adding some impurities into it. This impurities is called as dopants. So we can add either trivalent impurity or pentavalent impurity. So pentavalent impurity, the example is arsenic. So pentavalent, the meaning is it has 5 valence electrons. So here we are having excess electrons. So this type of semiconductor is called as N-type semiconductor. Now if we are adding trivalent impurity into the silicon means then there will be hole. So here the current conduction will be the holes. So this is called as P-type semiconductor. Diode. Already we have learned this in our lower classes. So diode is formed by connecting a P-type semiconductor and an N-type semiconductor. A junction is created. So it has two terminals. One is anode and another one is cathode. So in a diode, it can be operated as forward biased or reverse biased. Forward biased means P-type semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and N-type semiconductor is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So this condition is called as forward bias. So during the forward bias condition only there will be current flow. So if you are connecting in reverse bias means P-type is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and N-type semiconductor is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So under reverse bias condition there will be no current flow but due to the leakage there will be little current flow. MOSFET MOSFET means metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. So MOSFET structure is sandwich like structure. Why we are saying it is sandwich like structure means the starting there will be gate then there is an insulating layer silicon dioxide then a silicon wafer. So here also it has three terminals one is source, drain and gate. This MOSFET comes in two flavors. One is NMOS transistor and another one is PMOS transistor. Always remember if you are fabricating an NMOS transistor means then P type substrate is taken. So in that two N plus regions are diffused for source and drain. If you are fabricating PMOS transistor means then we have to take N type substrate and in that two P plus regions are diffused for source and drain. So the gates of early tra transistors were built from metal. So that only we call it as metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. But nowadays instead of metal they are using polycrystalline silicon or polysilicon. But the name is as it is metal oxide semiconductor field transistor. So CMOS technology. CMOS stands for complementary metal oxide semiconductor. So it means it consists of both NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor. MOSFET is controlled by the electric field. So that only we are saying it is field effect transistor. MOSFET is a voltage control device. Now this is a very very important application of MOSFET. MOSFET is used as a switch. So we should know the working principle behind this switch. Always remember VDD is the supply voltage and VSS is the ground. So here for a MOSFET we are having three terminals gate, drain and source. So whenever the gate voltage is equal to 0, NMOS is switched off. And whenever the gate voltage is equal to 1, then NMOS is switched on. Similarly in PMOS, whenever the gate voltage is 0, PMOS is switched on. And whenever the gate voltage is equal to 1, the PMOS is switched off. So this is the working principle behind this switch. This MOSFET is a majority carrier device. Because for NMOS transistor, the majority carriers are electrons. And PMOS transistor, the majority carriers are holes. Here, there are three important modes of operation. 
Number 1 accumulation, number 2 depletion and number 3 inversion. So the 3 modes of operation are accumulation, depletion, inversion. The figure A shows the accumulation mode of operation. So here we are choosing P type body. So P type body means it is an NMOS transistor. Now we are applying a negative voltage to the gate terminal. So if we apply a negative voltage then negative charge carriers that is electrons gets accumulated in the gate. So this electron will attract the holes present in the P type body. So this mode is called as accumulation mode. Then next in depletion mode we will be applying a small positive voltage to the gate terminal. So if you are applying small positive voltage to the gate terminal some positive charge carriers gets accumulated in the gate. So this positive charge carriers will repel the positive charge carriers present in the P type body. So a depletion region is created. So this mode is called as depletion mode. In depletion mode the applied positive voltage is less than the threshold voltage. But in inversion mode the applied gate voltage is greater than the threshold voltage. That means we are applying a very high positive potential. So when we apply high positive voltage more positive charge carriers will get accumulated in the gate. So this in turn attracts the minority carriers of P type substrate. So for a P type body holes are the majority carriers and electrons are the minority carriers. So these electrons form as a inversion region below the silicon dioxide insulin. So this mode is called as inversion mode. Next regions of operation. There are three regions of operation. One cutoff region, two linear region and three saturation region. So first let us see what happens in the cutoff region. So this is our N MOSFET because P type substrate is taken N MOSFET. So it has source, drain and gate terminals. The voltage between gate and source is indicated as VGS. And voltage between gate and drain is indicated as VGD. And the current flowing from drain to source is called as IDS. So in cutoff region we are going to apply a voltage less than the threshold voltage or VGS is equal to 0. So if the voltage is less than the threshold voltage then there is no channel is formed. So no current flows from drain to source. So this is in cutoff state that means the transistor is in off state. The next region is linear region. Now the gate voltage is greater than the threshold voltage. So in cutoff region the gate voltage is less than threshold voltage but here the gate voltage is greater than threshold voltage. So if you are applying the gate voltage greater than threshold voltage then automatically a channel is created between the drain and source that is the negative charge carriers forms a channel between source and drain but there is no current conduction. Why there is no current conduction means VGD is equal to VGS that means gate to drain voltage and gate to source voltage is equal to same way value. Therefore VDS is equal to VGS minus VGD that is equal to zero. Since there is no potential difference there is no current flow. So if we want the current to flow from drain to source means then there should be a small potential difference. So we are going to apply a small drain to source voltage so that there is a current flow from drain to source that is the second figure shows. So there is a current flow from drain to source IDS current. This mode of operation is called as linear mode of operation. The next one is saturation region. So in saturation region we will be applying a very high VDS voltage that is VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. So now the channel is pinched off near the drain but there will be a constant current flow. Now the current depends only on the gate to source voltage but it does not depend on the drain voltage. So that only we are saying it as a saturation mode of operation or saturation region. Now let us summarize. In cutoff region VGS is less than VT that means our transistor is in off state. 
then in linear region our transistor is in on state vgs is greater than threshold voltage and a small vds voltage is applied but in saturation region vgs is greater than vt and also vds is a large value so this is called as saturation region now let us discuss some important multiple choice questions related to this topic first question the conductivity of the pure silicon is raised by so already we know pure silicon is a poor conductor so if you want to increase the conductivity means then we have to add dopants into it that is we have to add impurities so option a is the right answer next question the n type semiconductor have dash as the majority carriers so for n type semiconductor electrons are the majority carriers so option c is the right answer third question the majority carriers of p type semiconductor are so for the p type semiconductor the majority carriers are holes so option a is the right answer next question the n mos transistor is made up of so n mos transistor means we should take p type substrate or p type bulk then in that two n plus regions are diffused therefore n type source n type drain and p type bulk option a is the right answer next question the oxide layer formed in the mosfet is so the oxide layer is silicon dioxide so option b is the right answer next question the drain current is varied by so the drain current control is only by gate to source voltage so option a is the right answer next question the n mosfet is working as accumulation mode when gate is applied a negative voltage so option c is the right answer next question the current through the n mos transistor will flow when vgs is greater than v threshold and also vds is greater than 0 that means linear um, region of operation so in linear region of operation vgs should be greater than threshold voltage as well as vds also a small positive voltage should be given next question what is the condition for not saturated region so non saturated region means linear region so for linear region vds should be less than vgs minus vt that is option c is the answer next question what is the condition for linear region so for linear region the gate to source voltage should be greater than the threshold voltage so option b is the right answer i hope you all have understood the basic concepts of mos transistor if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel and share with your friends thank you